Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Eatbook Vlogs. I'm Kiara. And I'm Mendon. And today, the Eatbook producers has decided to gain some good karma to bring us to a super Instagrammable ramen place. Instagrammable, I like. Ramen, I like. Possible man, Instagram ramen? Yeah, yeah. The it's producer said it's like damn lit there. Eh. Lit la. Lit. We in Sydney, so we need to lit. Lit la. Lit. Coco now is it? You boomer! Coco now is Coco. it? <laughs> Let's go. Bend yourself backward. Bend backward? Yeah. How are your performances? Oh! Why is this scary? This is like roller coaster. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, that was that hot eh! Guys, the skies have spoken. <laughs> it's a great day for us to eat ramen today because we're now here at Membaka Kyoto Fire Ramen. It is their first store out of Kyoto. Mm. So we can't fly to Japan now, right? They flew to us. You know the thing is that they opened in Kyoto in 1984, eh? <gasps> That's like older than me and Kiara combined together, eh? Right. Of course lah, <laughs> only 19 years old, 19 eh? plus 19. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah. The owner of the store actually tried a lot of ways mm. to bring attention to the ramen. But this one was his game-winning one. Yeah, it's very fun eh. What do you think about the experience just now? It was really an experience eh. It's like watching a show where you sit down and I give you the apron and then you tie up the apron. <laughs> then after that, the music plays. After the music plays, they show you the clay cards and then you gotta like walk through it. And it's quite funny. They say like, don't scream, don't fast. Mm. From the start, then they build the tension, they build the tension, they build the tension. Until they're like, okay, 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 are you ready, are you ready? And then when they pour the oil over, right, you can actually smell how fragrant it is. Eh. They can smell the smokiness of it all. And the fire. Is it even a fire? Like the, the, the whole fire tower, it was like a good half of my yeah. body length. Eh. A bit scary, uh, but a bit fun. Uh. You know, now we don't have any, we can't go anywhere out of Singapore, right? So I guess this is like bringing the experience overseas to us. So I really like this experience. I give it a 10 out of 10 actually. I give it a 10 out of 10 also. Eh. Don't copy me lah. <laughs> so in front of us, we have three of their signature ramen. The most, most, most signature one right, that you must come for is the Membaka Shoyu Fire Ramen. And then followed by the Singapore Special, which is the Tonkotsu Fire Ramen. Last but not least is the Vegetable Fire Ramen. So the Tonkotsu one is only available in Singapore. Even if you go to Kyoto, right, you won't be able to get this. So every bowl comes with chashu slices mm -hmm. as well as ramen and a whole mountain of that Negi. Negi. What's Negi? My mother. <laughs> okay, you want to try this one first? This is yeah. their signature shoyu ramen that we're having. And usually it doesn't come with eggs. So if you want eggs, you can like just call for top up lah. The fragrance that the Nagi brings to the entire bowl, right? It's insane and the smokiness mm. of it. Like I'm a fan of Instagrammable gimmicks, but I'm also a big fan of like scallion oil. Mm. I think it levels up any savory dish. Mm. I find that this is different from typical ramen. The reason why I don't always go for ramen is because Singapore is very hot, firstly. And secondly, they all kind of taste the same to me. But this one, I feel like it's more complex in terms of flavour. First get that really salty, savoury, ramen, tare, mm. broth kind of thing. Then after that, Nagi. you get that nagi, right? When you bite into it, it gives you a pop of freshness that makes you go for a second bite. Yeah. I think I really like this one, actually. Wait, wait, I cannot say so soon yet. I want to try the chashu slices first. Okay. The chashu is a bit on the lean side, but I'm not complaining because it's still very flavorful. So they have a full egg for 250 And what I like to do here, right, is that I will pile on all the nagi, uh, then I'll add a bit of broth, then in one bite, right? <laughs> I cannot eat one bite. The egg is marinated just well. They cut through the smokiness and the oiliness and the strong flavour of the broth. And I like that the egg is liquidy in the centre. Before I make my final verdict, I want to try the other ramen first. Now we are going to try out the Tonkotsu Fire Ramen that is only exclusive to Singapore. Eh. I like this better than the one before. <laughs> I think this is the one where I'll do this. Eh. The noodle is so thin that it actually can get cooked by the hot broth while you are like talking with your friends. So you gotta finish this quick, okay? If you like your ramen like me a bit harder, eh. when it comes, just eat straight away. Then you talk to your friends. Over, I tell you what you talk to your friends over later, okay? Huh? What do you mean? They got this very special 
I don't spoil for you. And the tonkotsu broth in itself is very medium bodied. Mm. It's not like the full bodied um, tonkotsu broth that you will have anywhere else. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. because of that, right, the oil when you pour over and when it saturates the entire bowl, right, it gets a bit more palatable. Mm. Yeah, and I think that's what you're talking about, right? Yeah. In yeah. addition to the whole like vegetable smokiness, the whole naggy crunch, mm -hmm. I think this makes for a very good bowl when it's raining like that. You know the maliat browning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It really has a bit of that in the broth and the noodles. You need the entire bowl thanks to the naggy oil. It's damn good. Eh? Okay, right in front of me, right, is the vegetarian fire ramen. I think this is something that you won't like because they have no chashu inside. Yeah, that's probably why also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the vegetarian fire ramen, right, mm. actually has a stronger naggy taste to me. Eh. That's a bit that I like the most about this. But out of these three, my favourite has got to be the signature shoyu fire ramen. You know the stock that they use, right? They use two kinds of bonito and chicken. So it's something that's very unique. You have to try the signature shoyu fire ramen. And then you followed by Kiara's Tonkotsu Ramen Course. Hold up, hold up. Mine is nicer, okay? If you love Tonkotsu, you love pork, that is the one to go. So, so there are a couple of people who are also having the fire ramen right now, and the music is going to be turned on, and then the whole theatre is going to start again. <laughs> Let's try the charcoal crispy karage salad first, okay? Crispy charcoal karage salad. <laughs> Colour first, then texture, I, uh... okay. yeah. Because this is a salad, right? Mm. You must have vegetables inside also eh. So this is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to put like my meat inside a piece of vegetable. Like I'm, going, a... I'm going to take a bit of the yuzu dipping sauce. And I'm going to like wrap down and eat like that. It's the every, every kind of better as compared to the crispy one that you will have on like any other fried chicken. Mm. Like, I think being a person who doesn't like that heaty food, right? Mm. This doesn't feel heaty to me at all. Then I say like we are here to like chill, to talk over things with your friends, right? Mm. So right now, what other better way to match karaage than with beer? Hi! <laughs> Everyone agrees? Skira, this is actually right, Kyoto Matcha Asahi beer. It's basically Asahi beer that has Yuji Matcha inside. It's very unique. There's really a, a, some kind of sweetness with this combination together. Mm. Because I thought it's just going to be straight up bitter. Matcha is bitter, beer is bitter, mm. but there's sweetness. I think that it has a lot to do with the matcha that they use. Mm -hmm. Like the matcha they use here is from like Yuji, which is known for like sweet matcha. And sometimes matcha might taste a bit chalky, like the mm. mouthfeel might be chalky. But when you combine it with beer, right, it becomes very smooth. It doesn't give you that burn that you have when you drink alcohol. Mm. It doesn't actually taste like alcohol until slightly later. But actually, I have a secret cup of um, ice matcha latte <laughs> also <laughs> that I've been drinking. I think it's as good as like drinking matcha from Havla. Wow, I'm surprised that from a ramen place you can get good matcha. Mm. Ice matcha latte is like this. I may or may not have a new favourite ramen spot in town. Says the ramen snob, <laughs> right? Today I actually woke up a bit moody because it's a Monday morning and then yesterday night rain until so shook. <sighs> <sighs> but my day is made, my day is made. You never say thank you. Thank you, Evo producers. You all guys will have good karma after this. Thank you, Maverick, for bringing us to Manbaka Kyoto Fire Ramen. I feel like I really had a good time. Mm -hmm. No, I like there's a there's a physical aspect of it. Which is right. what? You sitting in front of the of the stool and then. Why so scary? This is like a roller coaster. The fire coming down and you feeling the heat like this close to your face. Yeah. It's... Yo, that thrill, right? It's just now like you were saying like it felt like a what roller coaster, yeah. right? <laughs> and then mm -hmm. you had food, which is like another kind of experience, right? Mm -mm -mm. So yo. Today really like it's day good, is good. made. I know, I know. Some people hate gimmicky stuff like Sufon and you. I love gimmicky stuff, but I love it when they are legit good. Like gimmicky from the fire, but the ramen still tastes really good. This will be one of my favorite ramen spots in town already, yeah. Like even no, like even though there are like so many ramen stalls in Somerset, right? Mm. I think this is one place that I will definitely bring my friends to. Especially with the karaage and the beer, like I, I think everyone should try the UG matcha beer once in their life. So next time, Kiara, if you have a boyfriend, right, I think this is a very good place to bring him to, like especially if he likes ramen and he likes beer. What are you talking about? I'm already married. To e book. <laughs> <laughs> I renounce it. <laughs> so thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you like this video, you can watch more of our videos over there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Bye. gonna eat more, I'm gonna eat another bowl. It's I'll see a you. Great day to eat.